Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Alright, so we just saved a tree and we gained some more reputation. To which I said, damn it. Because I didn't really want to get the reputation, but well, I'll take it. Uh, if plus four versus crushing attacks, I'll give that to Minsky. Uh, actually. he probably have more use for it. Um, not entirely sure what to look that up. Let's see. He now has minus 4 to crushing, missile, piercing and slashing. Whereas Minsk has minus 2 to crushing, missile and piercing. And she has just minus 3 to slashing. But I now have a club she can use, so that'll have to do for now. It's not really the weapon I want for her, but Beggars can't be choosers, and he's overweight. Uh, then she can wear it. I need to get rid of these swords now. <laughs> Let's see, how far is everybody from leveling up? Ooh, he's about to go up. She's still a little bit of a while away. And nobody else is close. Yes. Alright, let's go. It shall be as you wish. So now it's just time to play whack a mole with any bandit that shows their face. And I'm not entirely sure how many there are in this area, but quite a few. Oh, wolves. Oh, wolf, what are they? My blade! <laughs> Now, now there's wolves. Cool oh, Minsk, you've got a two-handed weapon. How may I be of it shall be as you wish? Yeah, but that's something you have to look out for. The uh, actual effects of particular types of armor. For instance, full plate armor can protect you from most things, but it is a little bit more vulnerable to crushing attacks, I believe. Or blunt attacks. Because of the nature of the armor. Not entirely sure how often that uh, actually happens in these types of games. I certainly haven't really noticed it in any future versions. What is it this you have but to ask? Particularly the versions in uh, Neverwinter Nights. Though it's been a while since I've played that, so... But then again, the rules are different for wearing armor anyway. It's not like you can actually wear any type of armor and still get the best effects of from your dexterity. Whereas in this uh, particular rule set, you get bonus to your armor if you have high dexterity, regardless of what armor you're wearing. Which I guess can make some characters quite a bit powerful. <laughs> Ooh, talking null. Stop! You have trespassed on our territory. You shall not be allowed to leave until you have paid tribute. We demand 50 gold in tribute. Oh, uh, we have no money, sorry. No money? That's too bad for you. We don't let you go if you win fight. Your best champion versus our best champion. Oh, come on, let's do it then. Our best champion is Ludruk. Ludruk is me. Are you ready for fight? No matter, we fight now. Yes. Look, I won't, don't want to say anything, but I'm really not the best guy for this. You won? We must let you pass. Tread carefully. We will be watching you. I don't think it I've ever won that wish. fight as anything other than a fighter. How may I? It shall be as you wish. Good thing I still had a melee weapon with me. And that it didn't break. Still, anything to not have to pay 50 gold, because that would be such a heavy burden from our 6,000 gold sash. 
Not a cave bear. If you're coming after me again, I'm gonna kill you. Possibly frosty. Uh huh. Stand back. What you want? Yes, you have but to ask. Here, I need him. Yes, oh, um, as you direct. And all right. Uh, throw some potions to your wife. You've attacked. <laughs> For the fallen! All right. How much damage are we actually doing? Yep. Some. All right. That's good. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. And not, not a potion. Lest you've attacked as you direct. All right, let's kite for a bit. Yay! Can I? I really do not like those bears. Right. Um. Thirteen more hit points. That's very good. Better taco. All these resistances. Very good. Take a point in bastard sword. It shall be as you wish. And I'm getting really low again. Uh, Alright, let's you try You do not it. dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you. And though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away. Steadfast in your new direction, the way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away, something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. Well, the first dream sequence. It was quite interesting. So what I have now gained time? the spell, the cure light wounds. Oh, very good. Nature servant awaits. Vita, now, I don't know if there's actually anything different if you try to stay neutral. I mean, I'm as close to neutral as you can get and still have a little bit of a pof positive reputation. And it didn't seem to matter much. How may I be of assistance? Let's see. Do I want to go north or south? Let's it go shall south be as for a bit. But I don't. I don't think there really are anything, uh, any neutral events that will happen. Maybe if I let my re reputation drop a little bit later on, it will make a difference. But 
for now, I'm fine actually with getting uh, the uh, the cure light wounds. It's very convenient. Ooh, nolts. Now, even though we're crushing face here, we shouldn't really underestimate gnolls just yet. Because they can be a little bit more a little bit tougher than they look. They are s I suppose they could be challenges moderate at this point. But with a full party and with Minsk, we should be handling them quite easily because uh, Minsk is a ranger. And his racial enemy is null, so he does extra damage to them. Which is what makes him very useful against them. And so we zigzag. Ooh, what's that? Vampiric wolf? Dire wolf, alright. I was expecting worse. Let's give I shall attend to it in a trice. Uh, but for these enemies you can just simply dog pile on them and it will be useful. Halbert plus one, alright. Oh. Actually, Minsk is fine for now. I'll have to remember to change to give it to someone else. Actually, I might as well give it to uh, her. She still has some room. What is it that I shall attend to it in a trice? You have but yeah. to ask. There's little things like this that you can use. Exploit. There's not many characters that actually use halberds because I guess they're not really the the easiest weapon to uh, use. Also, there are not many, very, very many magical halberds aside from the one that I just found. So you'd be a little bit underpowered at the end of the game. Hmm. A waterfall with a dead cat. Well, lunch, everybody. Anyone fancy a leg? Now, oh, where would the cat have come from? Hey, a little girl. Pixie. My cat, she was playing too close to the waterfall and slipped. Sniff. I hope she's alright. Well, no, she's not. She's dead. I want my mommy. It's alright. She's done this before. I guess daddy will just have to raise her again. Here you can have this scroll daddy gave me. I can't read the words yet anyways. No, I'm Good on you if you save the day. I gained another point. Darn it. Maybe I should have taken Edwin with me. Still, it's kind of horrible that she's so blasé about letting her, her cat die, so she, because she can just raise it again. How will you ever learn loss if you can just continually raise your pets? Then again, that's always the eternal question in games like this. If you can raise the dead, why wouldn't you? But I suppose there are limits to raising the dead. For instance, if the corpse has been uh, defiled in some way, or been dead for too long. But it doesn't ever tell me what the limit is. So you don't know. Ah, another winter wolf. For the fun! <laughs> Here we go to face unafraid. The wolf. Darn, I can't sing. Stop giving things to Minsk. It's a reflex, I know. Yes, I shall attend to it in a trice. 
mean, I like Minsk a lot, and I would have taken him with me at any other playthrough, but this time around, no. He's just too goody-goody. Plus, I don't want Dinah here. She's even worse. I already have to put up with the nagging of Jahira. Don't need anyone else. Your company is a welcome part of, of this group. Oh well, more winter wolf pelts for me to sell. It's a nice bit of experience too. How may I be? It shall be as you wish. It's kind of cruel that I'm giving the winter wolf pelts to Jahira. She must be softly crying to herself every time she gets gets one of them in the pack. Because after all, there's not that many winter wolves in this game. Alright, the exploration of this area is going swimmingly. As we suck the marrow of experience from every bit of this forsaken land. Well, not forsaken, but it, it is very sparsely populated. Infested with gnolls. Oh. Grah, wretched fortress. If you go there, go to conquer. What fortress do you mean? The fortress to the west. <coughs> I can't do that because that will ruin my voice. I wish to roast a captive when the others would rather let her live in that cellar. Fools, and now my brethren, make me an exile from my own clan. Hear me, I shall taste her flesh yet. Well, I don't really care for your tastes, then. There's probably only one person he could be talking about. Another winter wolf. Eat flaming or uh, possibly frosty. And Jahira leveled. Ooh, double sting. Here's another pelt for you. And she leveled with both things. Very good. Uh, so I'll give her a point in scimitar, because why not? Uh, another level 2 priest spell, another reduced taku. Very good. And 12 hit points. Nice. Alright, level 2 priest spells. What do you have that is actually useful? Hmm. Well, neutralized poison is useful. slow po poison, but mm, let's go for something a little bit more aggressive. What is it this it shall be as you wish? Oh she's slowed, alright. Someone else carry it. Nira, you have space. And that's pretty much all I can do here. I think. Alright, let's move on to the next part. I believe there's a passageway here that I can take. Or not. There is very little land here I can actually use, but there is some. Let's, oh, omnipresent authority figure. Let's use up all our healing spells. Vita. 
Rest up. And I will see you all next time.